Our game currently has probes that move around the screen in various patterns. We want these probes to fire energy particles directly at the player at random speeds and at random intervals, but only after a certain level. This may sound like a lot, but once we break it down into small steps, it's actually not so bad. We could either put the energy particle into its own module or keep it with the probe. The decision depends on how complex the energy particle is. We're going to keep things simple, and so we'll keep it all together. The first thing we need to do is load the graphics into the module, and then we can begin work on the class. As always, we need both an initialization method and an update method. The initialization method will need to know where the player is and which probe is firing. The targeting will create a straight line from the probe's position to the player's position. The speed of the shot will be randomly determined, allowing it to go faster at higher levels. We'll also keep track of the number of frames that have passed to help with calculating the position in the update method. As far as updating the position goes, we're following the same type of logic that we use for calculating straight line paths. However, instead of stopping and changing directions when it reaches the endpoint, we're just going to keep moving in a straight line. The formulas look a little different, but it's pretty much the same thing. Just as with the lasers and asteroids, when a shot gets far enough off the screen, we need to kill it to avoid memory and slowdown issues. And this completes the energy particle class. We now need to create the firing mechanism, which will live inside of the probes. For the first time through the patterns, we don't want the probes to fire, so we will set the cooldown timer to negative 1. This is an easy way to prevent it from firing, because the timer will get more negative and never reach 0. But after the first time through, we do want it to fire, and we will give it a random countdown timer. The formula is written this way because we want the probe to fire faster on average as the level increases, and then we will also need to define a firing flag. The process of firing energy particles is similar to the player's laser. When we update the game state, we are going to loop through all the probes and check for the firing flag. If the firing flag is true and the player is not dead, then we will launch into creating an energy particle. And the pattern here should be familiar. We create the sprite, then add the sprite to the appropriate groups, and then reset the flag and cooldown timer. In this case, we don't need a group just for the energy particles because there are no additional interactions or information that we need to worry about. And that's it! Our game has reached the end of development for these videos. If you've been following along, you are in position to start trying to add your own features. Maybe you want to create power-ups that restore your shields and add a triple laser. All the skills that are required for that have already been covered. Or maybe you want to create a boss level. It's actually not too difficult. It's just a special type of enemy that has an internal health counter, and you will need to determine how much damage a shot does to it. You can even do a multi-stage boss with different pieces that can be shot off. That will take a bit more work, but you have all the logic. There's going to be one more video in this series, and it's a video for those who just want to play around with the graphics. We've made a special version of the game code that has a lot more direct guidance for how to do that.